Um. <laughs> so. Uh, he look. No, I already fucked it up. <laughs> Ethan Klein, uh, complained on YouTube or whatever the fuck about something. You know what's another fucked up thing? You know this uh cartoon of of Ela murdering Palestinian babies. Okay. I fucking sent a reupload to YouTube to ask them to remove it, and they said no. They said this stays up because it's a valuable artistic expression. So what the fuck? Nazi fucking propaganda of Ela killing babies is is important art? That's psycho, dude. I've never felt more unsupported and ashamed to be on YouTube. This clip, in case you're wondering, chat is what he is referring to. Now, you may be wondering, Josh, Usually, when you cut to this video, it's on YouTube. Well, guess what? Uh, as it turns out, being a multi-millionaire Jewish friend of the CEO or former CEO of YouTube does extend, does extend to you um, some clout in determining what gets to stay up or not up. So despite the fact that Ethan Klein admitted on uh, public uh, recordings that YouTube had evaluated this video and found it to be a fair uh, political expression, which is protected by the Constitution, and which is, to be quite frank, pretty tame uh, for what is allowed on the internet. Uh, maybe not these days, but I mean, it's just a criticism of somebody who was a, a combat veteran of the IDF. He complained about this, said that it was reviewed, that it was rejected, and then he complained louder, and boom, what do you know? Sven Stoffels gets hit with a strike for... Um, I don't remember what the fuck it was. It was for like hateful or violent contact. And the, the, this clip, I played it. I literally played this clip for years. It's been on YouTube for fucking years, like half a decade. And only now, because Ethan Klein is upset, does it get fucking yanked. So congratulations, Ethan. Uh, you got it taken down from the internet. I'm sure that that changes everyone's opinion about you. Nobody thinks that Ela is a fucking murderer now. Uh, I'm sure the opinion of Israel and Israeli influence on American politics and American constitutional expression on the internet, that's all going way up. Now that this video isn't as readily accessible on YouTube directly from the one spot that it was uploaded, everybody loves Israel more. Everybody loves Hila more. Nobody thinks she murders babies. Nobody thinks the IDF murders babies. That That's all been paved over by your fucking whining to YouTube. It's just such a f fucking piece of shit. I really hate him. And the worst thing is, is that um, Sven Stoffels has been working on a comic book thing for a while. It's called Butch Killigan. And it's supposed to be like a hyper masculine type thing. It, it, the art style really reminds me of um, the Venture Bros and uh, Samson from that. Like how it's like super ultra violent. That's, that's kind of the vibe that I get. I'm not, I'm not a comic book person, so I, I can't state like oh yeah this is definitely my thing but he went into average he's a com he's an artist he makes really interesting like his art style is extremely distinct it's extremely cool i really like it and he wants to make a comic cool fucking more power to you he works uh ages to make this fucking comic and then he wants to go to kickstarter and launch his comic oops sorry sven sorry sven uh, you did you not know that seven years ago you made an oopsie doodle and you upload a video that uh, Ethan Klein wouldn't like seven years later? I mm. guess you don't get to go live on your YouTube channel and promote your, your fucking project that you've worked on for months. Sorry, bro. Seven years ago, you did something that Ethan Klein doesn't like today. So therefore, you can't upload this week. So he doesn't get to advertise this fucking thing. So I'm advertising it for him. He asked me to do it. I said, can you help a nigga out? And I said, my nigga, I can show as fuck. Help a nigga out. Um, so I will post this in the kick chat for everybody. <clears throat> uh, let me open up the actual URL here. Not the, the TCO URL. 
and I will post that in the chat so you guys can find it. Um, and met its goal. He asked for a very reasonable amount of money. Pledge of a $1,337 goal. He met that about almost 10 times over, nine times over. Um, and I don't know. It just it just sucks. It's like talented people on the internet are not allowed the the fruits of their labor because Ethan Klein says so. This guy right here, oh, you worked hard on this project for months. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ethan Klein's upset. Look at him. Look at look Sven. Sven, look at his face. You made him cry. You made Ethan Klein multi-millionaire living in L.A. with everything he could ever hope and dream for at his hands. You made him cry because you, you, you made the bad doodle. You made the bad doodle of his wife. Oh, my God. It's so, it's so, oh, my God. He's cr literally crying. Look at him. This is him watching this video thinking, oh, my God. This is so, wham, chat, wham. So you don't get to advertise for fucking money. It doesn't matter how hard you work on it. So sad, chat. <sighs> we are all, but the thing is, is that the more injustice there is, the harder and more swift the retribution will be, chat. And it's it's building up more, like more random fucking people, just random cartoonists that like are are just trying to get by and make Butch Killigan comics get, are getting fucked over because of Ethan Klein and shit. It's like everyone, and there's not very, there's, I can't say everyone, but there's, I'll say everyone's sane. There's very few sane people left in this world thinking like, yeah, shit's completely fucked up right now. Such is life. Uh, once again, Butch Killigan, it's on uh, Kickstarter projects slash Butch Killigan slash Butch Killigan, that time with a hyphen. And it's also on my Twitter account that I retweeted. So, X Josh. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.